Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I have a plush update for you. We talked about this in another video. It sold for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. $950. I am so, so excited. Let's get started. All right, you guys, a while back, um, I got a video from the Cajun reseller, and this is what it looked like. Hey, Bolo Buddies. My name is Chris, the Cajun reseller, and I like plush. My Bolo for this video is a plush, of course. I went to Goodwill one day and found a $2 jelly cat. Now, can you guess which jelly cat it is? If you guessed Fergus the Frog, you would be correct. This guy right here, Fergus the Frog jelly cat, that is the jelly cat tag. He is worth over $800. I found him at Goodwill for two bucks and I couldn't pass him up. You've probably seen videos on this guy before. Courtney's done a video. I've done a video. I'm sure other resellers have done videos as well. So make sure if you ever see jelly cat Fergus, pick him up. Most jelly cats are worth a decent amount of money. He's definitely worth the most out of all of them. And uh, never pass up plush. Always look in plush. You never know when you're going to find one worth a lot of money. He sent this to me for the This Is My Bolo Challenge. Um, not really challenge, but collab video that I do. And I'm like, but did it sell? And he's like, no, it hasn't sold yet. He's like, I have an offer, but I don't know if I'm going to take it. And there was like this whole story behind it. And I'm like, can you send me something that sold? So he ended up resubmitting um, a silverware bolo, which was really fantastic. You guys can catch that in the This Is My Bolo video. But anyway, I have an update for you. He sold the plush and it was a jelly cat. And I did a video on jelly cat that looks like this. Definitely go check that out. And in that video, I talked to you about big money bolo jelly cats to look for that sold on eBay. This video is going to be a little different. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right. First off, Let's go over and check out Cajun Reseller. He is the plush king. That's what it says right here. And if you look right here, it says this plush sold for $950. Well, it is Fergus the Frog. And we know that because I just showed you the video that he sent us. Um, just an incredible sale. And it sold on Mercari, you guys. Are you selling on Mercari? If you're not, you should definitely consider it because Mercari is a great platform for plush. Um, it's a great platform in general, but plush, I have seen some high dollar sales on Mercari lately. Um, I do have a link if you want to join Mercari down below. And if you join, you'll get a $10 credit to shop, but you'll also get a $20 credit to shop once you list and sell $100 worth of items. So that's like $30 to shop just for signing up and selling some stuff, right? So uh, that link's down below. That is my referral link. And I also get a credit to shop also when you uh, buy something and then when you sell your items. So I would appreciate it if you guys would definitely use my link and code. All right. So here it is, you guys. This is Fergus the Frog. But there's going to be something a little shocking in this video. Um, something that I found a little unexpected, something that I don't think you can get away with on eBay and you probably shouldn't be doing on Mercari either. So we're going to talk about that once we get to it, but, uh, stay tuned for that. All right. So this is Fergus the frog. You can see he's marked with the jelly cat. He's not very big. You guys, he's only 12 inches and he is just a cutie. Uh, but this guy, for some reason goes for $950. He sold it on the high end. Um, I think in my video that I did, they were going in the $750 range, maybe $800. But go over and watch his video, and he tells you what he paid for this. And he also talks about other plush items that he sold. It's a really fantastic video, so I will link it down below in the description. All right, so let's move on to the next one. The next one that sold is this, um, and again, these are all Mercari sales. So if you're not familiar with Mercari, how it works is somebody buys your item, those funds are put on hold automatically. So the sale is good and done. Um, they get their item. They have three days to rate you. If they don't rate you within that three days, Mercari releases that money to you because Mercari is holding that money. 
Okay. It's not in the possession of the person buying it. Now, if they rate you sooner, like as soon as they get it, then those funds are released quicker. So if you buy something on Mercari, always rate your um, seller so that they can get paid quicker. So this is a Jelly Cat Woodland Fox, $390 on that guy. Here's his little tag. What on earth? Oh, you know what? I This might be a bundle. It looks like they got a fox and a bunny for $390. Okay, fox and bunny $390. That's the hard thing with Mercari because sometimes people bundle and it's a little bit confusing. Yeah, see reserve listing, do not purchase. Sorry about that, you guys. So I'm not sure. This is a plush reserved for Janet. And this looks like it is definitely a single. Here's your little tag. This seems like a really little plush and it's a little lamb. I think that's a lamb. Description. No description, really. So $350 on that. There's your little tush tag. Okay, this one is called Little Jelly Cat. This is the Jelly Cat Bundle of Dragons. The dragon is definitely one to be on the lookout for. I talked about that in the other Jelly Cat video I did. Oh my goodness, these are just incredible. These are the rose-colored ones. These sold for $340 and the buyer paid shipping. There are other dragons that also do well. So if you see a dragon, definitely look it up. This is Rose Blossom Jelly Cat. I think bunny would have been a good word in the title. It seems like over on Mercari, like sometimes you can get away with like not having as much in your title and items still sell for big money. $340 on this one. Maybe because it's not as flooded, there's less competition. I'm not really sure. Here's another uh, Jelly Cat Medium Bashful Plum Bunny. This one sold for $300. And it looks like it's got uh, the original tags on it as well. So if I get a plush and it has the tags and I dig it out of the Goodwill bins, I will put pre-owned with original tags. That is what I do. Um... I don't know where these people got their plush. Maybe they bought them new from the store and have just been hanging on to them. But if something's retired or vintage and it has the original tag, I put pre-owned. So let me know in the comments what you do. Do you uh, mark it as pre-owned with original tags or do you put new with tags? Here's another dragon that went for $2.99. Here is a set of Bartholomew. Oh, this is such a hard word. Ah, Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Let's try it again. Bartholomew. Bartholomew Bear Collection. There's three of them here. And these sold for $2.99. Super cute. Um, what's great is the tag is still attached. So you know exactly what you have. Um, and these are new with tags. So that is going to increase the value. Jelly Cat Bashful Bunny Pecan Maple Bundle. This is also a bundle. Let's see. Uh, maple and pecan. So two of them for $290. This is a uh, jelly cat bashful bunny, really big, made from brand new, really big bunny, hand dyed Bermuda ombre color. This is a hand dyed bunny made by me. Okay, so this is interesting. This is a custom bunny. Now I know on eBay, if you customize something, the companies do not like you using their name. So um, an example is like Furbies. People are customizing them. So I've heard that you can get like a, I don't know if it's a Vero or a policy violation if you customize things. I don't know if that stands true over on um, Poshmark and Mercari, or if that's just kind of an eBay thing that somebody from the actual company has gone after you um, because you have done that. I have a whole bunch of Vero videos items to not sell on eBay. Definitely check out that series. There's probably six or seven of them right now. My Facebook members share those and then I put them in video format to help us all learn. So this is definitely really, really pretty. Um, let me know what you guys think about the tie dye bunny here. Pretty cool, huh? All right. This one is a Jelly Cat Special Edition Truffles. And he is a mammoth. How cool is he? 
He looks like a pillow pet kind of, right? How he's all laid out. 275 on that one. Jelly Cat Rare Iris Bunnies. So two new ta uh, with tags retired. So again, uh, I don't know, probably pre-owned with tags is how I would do it. But I may not be, uh, you guys may feel differently. Let me know. Those sold for 260 the set. Here is another one. Okay, are you ready? First, it says, do not buy reserved for whoever that is. Jelly Cat Fergus the Frog. You guys, this sold for $250. Cajun reseller just sold his for $950. Do your research. Do it. I mean, this person even put Jelly Cat Fergus the Frog pre-owned great condition. No stains or holes. Hard to find approximately 14 inches. What a steal of a deal. 250 bucks. So somebody probably bought that and flipped it. The next item, I just love these. I almost want this for myself. They're little Bigfoots. They're so cute. Uh, this one looks kind of like a little owl. Uh, so they are the Monster Collection and they sold for 249 Again, uh, they've got their original tags there. Super cute. This is another dragon, and this one says reserved. This is Dexter the dragon, and this one says brand new with tag, never cuddled, was placed in a breathable plastic and then placed in the closet. So um, they said it was never used, $240. Reserved, rare jelly cat, smudge lion. I don't know why they say reserved unless somebody says I can't buy it until tomorrow or they negotiate a price and then they put reserved. Uh, this one actually looks like it's got two here. Let's see. Hippo and lion. So you got two of them here for 220, but that's still 110 a piece, which is great. These are the jelly cat amusable bag collection, coffee to go cloud toast and happy egg oh they're so cute 215 dollars on those all right so here's what i was talking about you guys this is a knockoff um, of fergus the frog this is frankie lee and it says um portland plush and it really does resemble um fergie fergus fergus <laughs> i forgot his name fergus the frog but he's got this little emblem here. So here's what it says down in the description. Please read description carefully. Jelly Cat inspired Fergus Frog. Not Jelly Cat. It's by a manufacturer named Portland Plush. Plush. Frankie Lee the Frog. Does show in the back. Sewed a bit. This, um, these, these are handmade, I believe. So stitching is original. Okay. So they were completely honest, but here's what we're going to run into with this one. They did not put it in the title, which I respect. Um, but on Mercari, when you search, anything in the description is pulled up. So on eBay, that would be called keyword spamming. Um, it's called something else also. Noel Farm Girl Scavenger is really good at all this stuff. Um, like you can't put uh, Tiffany inspired like this is uh, Fergus the Frog inspired on eBay. You cannot do that. So be very careful. It looks like people are getting away with it on Mercari, but um, I, I don't know. Um, I probably wouldn't do it. But this guy sold for two hundred dollars. So jelly cat womper monkey squiggles monkey and small bashful gorilla so this is another um well is it a bundle or yeah there's two of them here so two for 200 so 100 each it's a little monkey this is a jelly cat dragon and this one is also hand dyed so this person is um buying these and custom customizing them and I will tell you it's beautiful I mean I love those colors wow it's great um $200 on that one and Shauna Belly's jellies let's see let's go in and view profile um are these her listings how huh okay I think they are so they're not all custom. 
Looks like she sells tons and tons of plush. But she does really great work on those. Original hand dyed jelly cats. She said, I have been hand dyeing for about 15 years. This is mixing my love and my passion. All my bunnies are hand dyed with love and care. That's really cool. Um, I was trying to see more of the hand dyed ones. Is this one hand dyed? Let's see. Yep, hand dyed. Up in the clouds is what this one is called. They're really pretty. She does a good job. I love them. All right, you guys. Now, if you want any hand hand dyed bunnies, there you go. All right. Jelly cat fluffy pumpkin. Extremely rare and hard to find, you guys. This is a little teeny tiny pumpkin sold for $200. Halloween edition. Extremely rare. Only one online currently. 200 bucks. This is a rare jelly cat truffles, the red elephant, sold for 180. And it's kind of one of those that lays flat also, kind of like a pillow pet or I don't know what they're, I don't know what these are actually called, but yep, the red elephant is a good one. 180. Here is another Fergus the Frog inspired plush. Okay, so this person actually put Fergus the Frog inspired in the title. Um, they did in the description say this is not by Jelly Cat. It is a Fergus copy made by Portland Company plush brand. Tags are cut off and hole has been sewn shut. It, it's a very floppy plush in a dark emerald green color. This one sold for 150 So um, I, I, I wouldn't do it. That's just me. But I don't know. Mercari maybe not as strict on the inspired. But... Uh, I don't know. I know certain companies will come after you. So I, the, um, it just depends. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, you can go over to Mercari and you can search high to low. Okay. Let's go into Poshmark. Look at this. It's a little bat. So cute. Again, go follow Cajun reseller. He's linked below. He is a plush bolo finder. Here's another Rose Dragon. This one is over on Poshmark. This one sold for $254. Here is a Jelly Cat Sasha Snow Tiger. Really big. $150. This is a Jelly Cat Huge Bartholomew. I just can't say it. I'm sorry. We're just going to go with that. I'm only going to say it once this time. Sold for $140. So this is just one. The other one had all three. And this one has the original tags as well. Jelly Cat Huge Rabbit Bunny. Rare. $115. I don't know. I don't see a size. I wish that they put the size. That's another thing I feel like on Poshmark. It's a little less um, strict than eBay. But people can ask down in the comments. This one's pretty cool. Um, really big, amusable Christmas tree by Jelly Cat. And when it... I say amusable. This is what the tag looks like. It's got this additional amusables tag. There it is. And it's a Christmas tree sold for $100. Here is a Jelly Cat Bungly Fuzzy Shaggy Mouse. That doesn't really look like a mouse to me. I guess it looks more like a mouse in this picture. <laughs> sold for $100. It's a little cutie there, huh? Jelly Cat London retired 12 inch bluebell bashful bunny. And this is the iris color again, sold for $100. That one looks to be pre owned. And the amusable plush plants five piece set. Now I'm telling you, these are adorable. $250 these sold for. Anyone seen these or sold these? They're really, really cute. I know you all want to go buy them now, right? Maybe not. Not for that price. 250 bucks for some stuffed animals? What? All right. Let me know in the comments. Is there a plush that you would spend a lot of money on that you'd be willing to pay extra, extra for? Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let me know how you found the channel. And go subscribe to Cajun Reseller. He's linked down below. Thanks for watching.